Hi everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to speak to you about transportation in Ghana. Um, there are different ways to travel around Ghana. Some are good and easy, some are not so easy. Um, the first one is taxis. When we first came to Ghana um, some years ago, it's been about three and a half years we've been here now. When we first came to Ghana, um, the only way to really get around apart from Chocho, which I'll speak about later, was to get a local taxi because we didn't have a car. Now, the taxis were quite difficult because where we lived, we kind of lived in a bit, so it wasn't often that you'd see a taxi passing. So without actually knowing a taxi's number, or a, yeah, a, without knowing a, someone who is a personal taxi driver and literally calling them and saying, oh, could you come and pick us up and take us here? It was quite difficult. So what would have to happen is my husband would have to walk to the main road, which was about a 10 minute walk. He'd have to walk to the main road in the sun, bearing in mind we hadn't acclimatized yet. We'd have to do that walk and then he would have to come back with the taxi and pick us up because we couldn't all walk because it was just too much. So that was really, really difficult time. So taxis for us weren't the best. So it was, going out was just more annoying for us than anything actually, to be honest with you. It was literally something we'd have to plan the day before and, and psych ourselves up to do because it was just such a drama trying to get all the children and everybody out of the house. It was just too much. So then along came Uber. Uber was fantastic because as you know, you know all about Uber, I don't need to really go into the ins and outs. Literally, you get your phone, your app, blah, 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 I'm going to go here, there and there. Brilliant, come to your house, pick you up, take you wherever you want, that's it. Fantastic idea. Now, the problem about with Uber in Ghana is that people, um, people, no, 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 not people, the drivers here sometimes because Google Maps doesn't really work so well here because not all of our roads are named, what you'd find would happen is that the driver would come and pick you up and he wouldn't know how to get to your location. So he would ask you for direction and a lot of the time sometimes you yourself don't know where you're going so you're trying to work out this, how to get there yourselves and it's just like, you don't know, you don't know what to do kind of thing, so it's difficult. So that's the difficult thing about Uber, um, Google Maps is getting better now so Things are getting better, but still, you have to sometimes give the taxi um, a bit of direction. Another thing with Uber is, when Uber first came to Ghana, there weren't a lot of cars. And sometimes still, when you go out, you can find that there aren't a lot of cars available. And it can make traveling a bit difficult. So I'm sitting on the table and I just know, if I don't sit properly, I'm going to just fall off this table on camera in front of you all. So I'm being very careful to try and balance myself really well. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Yeah, so a lot of the cars sometimes were not available. And what happened was when Uber hit the marketplace, a lot of the taxis were not happy because they were actually undercutting what the taxis could charge. Because before taxis, you know, there's no regulation. Taxi can charge whatever it wants to charge. 100 cities, what's your problem? Do you want it or you don't? Whereas Uber, you know, the price is set, you know exactly what you're going to pay. So it was undercutting a lot of the taxi drivers here. So what happened was a lot of the taxi drivers then decided to sign up with Uber. So whereas if you'd order a taxi on Uber before, you could get a, an official taxi driver in one of their coloured taxi cars, turn up to your door and you'd be like, what? So uh, Uber has kind of changed and adapted it to suit Ghana a bit. So now there are more cars available. But still, I've used Uber a couple of times and there have been times when, oh my gosh, it's like 20 minutes for a taxi, um, a taxi, a car to arrive. Or I've heard situations where people have gone out and been stranded because there are literally no Uber drivers available so they've had to try and get a taxi and the problem with local taxis is that if you're stuck somewhere and it's late at night the driver's like 1,000 cities what are you gonna do are you gonna pay or are you gonna start walking because those are your two options right now and that's the problem that I have with a lot of the local taxi drivers they feel that they can charge whatever they want especially the, as soon as they see your face you know I'd like to think that I'm a local Ghanaian but um, I'm not seen that way and they know even before I even open my mouth to say anything they know oh this girl she's not from here so they just charge me anything that they feel like charging so that um, is what I don't like about local, local taxis which is why I prefer to use an uber over a taxi now the other way to travel is via Trocho <laughs> now Trocho uh, Trocho is great fun you have to try Trocho if you've been to come to Ghana on holiday or whatever if you've never tried a Trocho please go on a Trocho it's an amazing experience you'll love it okay because you get to sit down 
um, in the Chocho vans, which are like minivans. They take out the seats and they put lots of extra seats in there. So you get to sit on the Chocho and you get to sit to someone next to someone who may or may not be wearing deodorant, which is great. And you get to sit down like this, as if you've been best friends for life. Um, so that's really nice, the Chocho. Chochos are really nice and cheap though. They are about two CDs, if I'm correct. About two CDs um, per trip, depending on how far you're going. So they're very, very cost effective if you need to go somewhere, but obviously you have to find a Chocho station to get to, to pick up the Chocho usually. Um, sometimes you can pick them on the red side, you just kind of do this sort of thing, um, and they know um, chochos are, I don't really fully understand chochos because sometimes there are signals because there's loads of them and they're not like coded to say where they're going so sometimes they'll do signals so they might go circle or they might do different things and I, I don't really understand it, I'm still learning but I don't often go on a chocho, I prefer a taxi or an Uber because that is the princess in me yes, I am a princess um, um, chocho, I have to really be in the mood I've done chocho, there's nothing wrong with chocho but um, that's the princess on me, so you can stick your fingers up at me if you like. Um, that's the princess in me. Hey, I'm just being real. You guys know me. I'm being real. I'm, I'm very, very real. I'd rather take a taxi or an Uber over the chocha. But I will take the chocha sometimes if I'm in a really good mood. So it just depends. Um, yeah, so chochas are brilliant. Two CDs, it's, it's a pittance. You're not going to lose sleep over two CDs. Um, so that's a great way to travel around as well. Um, I've been on a trotter before and it hasn't dropped me well as opposed to getting it off as so I've got lost a couple of times. Um, also they have now, they have the Ghana bus which is brilliant. It's, it's actually an air conditioned bus, I've not been on one yet, it's an air conditioned bus. You'll see them, they're actually coloured with the Ghana flags and I believe they're air conditioned. Those are about five cities to get on. You know, they're not, there are not many of them around Accra yet. So they're still up and coming but I've occasionally seen them and like, ooh, yeah. So those are good for that. Um, and I think those are the best ways to travel around. But the most fantastic way you can travel around is get yourself a car and drive your own car. You don't need a driver, drive your own car. You don't need a driver, drive your own car. See what I'm doing there? I'm turning it into a song, see that? Anyway, sorry, I'm being silly. I'm oh, sorry, let's just do that. Okay. Let's just rewind. Okay, right. The best way to get around is to drive. It took me two years to drive in Ghana because I was so afraid of the drivers. I was afraid of other cars. I was afraid of my own shadow. No, I wasn't really afraid of my own shadow. But I was afraid. It took me two years because cars here are so intimidating. When you're driving, they literally come like this close to you and they try and push you off the road so that they can get in front of you. And if you're not strong, they'll just push you out of the way. I remember this woman, they actually pushed her to the side, squeezed her across the road so much that she actually fell into a gutter. Let that never, ever, ever, ever happen to me, please, please, please. I've never entered a gutter and I don't want to ever enter inside gutter, eh? Okay, I, that, that, that's, that's not for me. So anyway, so you've got to be as forceful with them. So literally, especially roundabouts are the worst. Roundabouts, it's not like who gets there first. It is literally about who gets there first, sorry. It's not about, oh, um, I, it's my right of way. There's no such thing as right of way here. So if you're bringing your westernized right of way business, you will never get to anywhere, you will never move because all the cars will just cut you up and go in front of you. But anyway, um, this video is getting way too long. So guys, anyway, anyway, I am 